So now why exactly am I doing this? I'm doing this because these items have been sitting on eBay for way too long. Good morning friends, welcome back to another Monday. I figured I would just kind of uh, show you guys what I have going on today. There's a lot of different things that I have on my docket for today. One of those is shipping, but before I get going with shipping, I have a list. So I have a list, I have a lot of mixes and things for my website that I need to replenish, but I need to take stock of what I actually have here first so that when I go shopping, I don't overbuy stuff. So I'm going to do that real quick and then I'm gonna do shipping. All right, I've got, and I am actually overstocked on some things. All right, so I got, like this snack mix right here has been selling out so fast. And I mean, really, it's no wonder it's my favorite one. It's the sweet and spicy Cajun cowboy. It's got the, uh, the spicy peanuts in it. It has regular roasted salted peanuts in it, butterscotch chips and Cajun corn sticks. It's so good. So I gotta make some more of that. I just need to make sure that I actually have, I gotta make sure I have all my ingredients. Yes, it looks like I'm good there. And then my kinda kicking, I don't have something to show you because it's completely sold out. My uh, kinda kicking sriracha mix. That one is completely gone too. I do have my pepitas for it. I have my hot Cheritos, my spicy peanuts, sriracha crunchy corn, cashews, pepitas. Okay, so I've got all of that taken care of. I'm gonna need to make more of the zesty pizza cashews because those are near sold out and this would be the second time they've sold out. So those are really popular. I gotta get those taken care of. I'm almost out of the bacon barbecue crunchy corn. Gotta get that going. The circus peanuts, all of the jumbo French burnt peanuts sold out. I need to get some more of the herby garlic corn done. I also need to get some more of these done today. Um, I'm needing to do a restock on these for the first time. The peanut butter and jelly sandwich which style snack mix. It's got those Neapolitan pretzels. It's got the uh, yogurt raisins, the peanut butter chips, peanut butter filled pretzel nuggets, and the salted peanuts. I gotta take care of that. Make sure I that I have everything or I get what I need because I need to make that snack mix. All right, got those. I'm glad I looked because I have like no yogurt raisins. I also have like no peanut butter chips. So I'm really, really glad I looked before I went shopping. Okay, so now that part is done. So now I'm going to work on shipping. I do have a couple of eBay packages. So let's see what's sold and needs to be shipped from eBay. So my basement is separated into so many quadrants right now. I've got like my nut work area is all over here. I have all of my bid stuff on this back wall here. And then I've got eBay stuff in the middle section here. I just, my entire basement is like entrepreneur jungle. That's, that's what it is. Entrepreneur jungle. All right. So this La Poche, La Roche Pose hydrating facial cleanser sold. And then I also sold two of these CND Repairing and Conditioning Rescue RX Daily Keratin Treatment Pens. So sold two of those. Just kidding. I actually sold two sets of those. So a total quantity of four of these to one person. So that's what I have shipping eBay today. So we're gonna take care of that. So the two sets, the two sets of these sold for $17.96 for both sets. Uh, plus shipping. So I'm going to end up netting about $12 or so on these. And then this sold for $9.98 plus shipping. So netting on this is probably going to be around six and a half, seven dollars or so. Okay, Ben, we need to print a couple shipping labels, but we're doing eBay first. Um, it says it right here. Okay. Are you going to help me do shipping today? Mm -hmm. And then after we do shipping, where are we going to go? To the park. We're going to go to the park. Okay, go ahead and click my eBay. My eBay. Go ahead and go get a drink of water. I'll print these. Now that eBay is done, these are all 
kind of nutty orders that need ice packs. So I am going to start putting ice packs in boxes so that I can take all of these to the post office. And then I have a couple more kind of nutty orders that came in overnight that I need to get packaged up. So we'll, you know, get those packaged from square one and all of that. And then we're off to the post office. And then where are we going to go, Ben? To the park. We're going to go to the park because I promised Ben we'd go to the park on a Monday. And so we've got to make that happen. So no, it's, it's already Monday. I know it's Monday. That's why we're going to go to the park. And then we need to run errands because I need some supplies so that I can replenish some stock. And we're going to have a little bit of a family day. Yes, we're going to have a little bit of a family day, aren't we, Ben? So packages are all packaged. Now I just need to load them into the car. Sorry. <laughs> but this little guy is just bouncing off the walls wanting to go to the... What? Where do you want to go? To the park. And he wants to go to the park. He's been promised a trip to the park and he's not going to let me do anything else until we go to the park. So we're going to go play at the park for a little bit after we go drop off those packages at the post office because those packages are for um, all of my kind of nutty orders, my nut and candy website. So all of those packages have ice packs in them. So they're going to the post office first. Thank you to everyone who has ordered. If you have not ordered or if you have never looked at my website, it is just kindanutty.com. I always put it down in the video description. So if you want to go check it out, you can go check it out. Ben, do you help me print shipping labels? Yeah, he does. He helps me print the shipping labels. He's who does? Big help. You do. You do. But for right now, we're going to package, um, not package, we're going to pack up all of those boxes in the car, go to the post office, and then go play at the park before we go run a bunch of errands, right? Right. Are you helping me load the packages? Mm-hmm. You're such a big helper. Good job. There's all the packages. I'm so grateful to all you guys. But we gotta go to the post office. All right, let's blast some AC because it's a hot one today. No, I can do it. Well, you, I'm gonna help you. You're not gonna do them all by yourself. Yeah, I am. You're gonna do them all by yourself? Good job. Hand them to me. Good job. Okay, hand me all the boxes. Right job doing your shipping. Yes, you are such a big helper. I'm so grateful. Thank you. Yeah. Alright, here we go. We gotta push it now. Wait, we gotta go this way. Push! All those muscles. All those muscles. This is a big, heavy one. See you later. Okay, Mom, are you ready to go to the park? Yep, let's go to the park now. Alright, let's go play at the park. Go! <laughs> oh, hi, good job. Oh, yeah, had to make another stop. So, it's a couple of days later. <laughs> I had such a Monday. The last time I tried filming, I decided to not film the rest of the day. I was just really super overwhelmed and busy. There was a bunch of stuff going on. And then, of course, things took a turn and everything started going wrong. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to pick this up another day. Uh, because what I'm doing now is what I had intended to do a couple of days ago. But then ran out of time and patience and stopped doing it entirely. Last week, I had front loaded my Facebook page with items to sell so that I could use a bulk of this week to get ready for the farmer's market because Saturday there's going to be like this huge family day event. They're expecting a lot of people turning out. And so I wanted to make sure that I had a lot of product prepared in order to, you know, have the best possible chance at sales at the farmer's market this weekend. So I had planned to do all my far. Uh, all of my farmers market stuff this week and do very little reselling. That being said, now that it is a couple of days later, I am nearing the end of when I had scheduled posts to go live on the Facebook page to sell items. And I now have 
two days before the end of the week that need to be loaded up. So that means that I need to get items queued up so that I could get those posts ready. And so I'm going to spend the rest of the evening doing that. But in order to do that, I have to actually email those links to myself. So if I say emailing links and you have no idea what I'm talking about, I have referenced this before in other videos. I had a video where I talked about getting $100 in revenue listed on Facebook uh, within about 30 minutes. I kind of talked about it there, how I literally email links to myself uh, in order to build posts. And then I had another video that was kind of a vlog style video where I demonstrated again how I email links to myself. So I actually have a whole bunch of items over here that I need to basically just look up on Amazon and share the link to my email so that I can sit down and build a Facebook post using the Amazon listing. So what are these items and where did they come from? You might have noticed that we didn't take a trip to my storage unit today and that's because these items are actually eBay items that I have in my eBay store. They're about ready to not be in my eBay store though. So now rather than looking up these items on Amazon, I'm actually going to be sending myself my own eBay links because I'm going to build the Facebook posts off of the eBay links that I have. So now why exactly am I doing this? I'm doing this because these items have been sitting on eBay for way too long. As I previously mentioned, eBay is very, very slow going for me. I actually have a video in the works currently talking about my relationship with eBay currently and why I'm really on the outs with eBay and why I've just been going so hard on Facebook rather than putting equal energy into eBay as I am on Facebook currently. So make sure you're subscribed and be watching out for that video because that video will be coming out very, very soon. I'm still, you know, finalizing notes for it and I have to wait until I have quiet time to sit down and film it because I don't want to like be all over the place and lose train of thought and everything. So I'm going to take my time with filming it, but that video is coming out. But I am sick and tired of putting stuff on eBay and I'm sick and tired of waiting six months, a year, two years, three years for things to sell. Everything that's on this shelf right here, not the, not these things, but everything on this shelf is stuff that I have basically pulled off of my eBay shelves that has just been sitting here way too long. And it's sitting here waiting for me to basically pull it off of eBay, but it's still currently on eBay, which is funny I say that. This item, it is a brand new Chi hair dryer. It's worth about $100. I was going to just take it off of eBay and put it on my Facebook page to sell it to my local customers. And coincidentally, it sold yesterday. It sold on best offer for $68 plus shipping, which I accepted. So the total with shipping and everything was about $80. So I'm glad that that offer came in. So I'm just gonna put that over there. It's just kind of a timely coincidence that it finally sold. It has literally been in my eBay store for two years, I think. It's been a while. And I was just tired of seeing a brand new sealed in the box Chi hair dryer worth $100. I was just getting tired of seeing it sitting on the shelf and not making me any money. Cause that's one of the things that I really prefer Facebook to eBay is how much quicker I can flip items and get revenue going. It's great for cash flow. So I am going to start pulling some of these items off of eBay and I thought it might be kind of interesting for me to show you what I'm pulling off, what I'm putting on my Facebook page and how much money I think I can get for it versus what I have it listed on eBay for. So I'm just gonna do about 15 items because that's all that I really need to do because there are some items I do already have queued up to go live, but I need about another 15 items in order to round out my week. So I'm going to do that and show you what kind of prices I think I could get for these items. Okay, so the first item that I'm going to be pulling down off of eBay is this really pretty purple switch controller. I've got it right here. Here's my eBay listing. I have it... I have it on eBay for about $29. It might not have sold because maybe it's, you know, overpriced for the market, but I still have best offer on it and I'm getting no traction on it. So I am actually going to go in and revise my listing and switch the quantity back to zero. 
So a question that I'm sure you have is, why are you putting the quantity at zero? Why don't you just delete the listing? Well, the reason why I'm going to do this is because if this doesn't sell on my Facebook page, I can always go put the quantity back in my eBay, uh, my eBay listing and sell it on eBay. Just put it back on eBay if I wanted to. So rather than just end the listing and delete it, I'm gonna switch the quantity to, uh, to zero. So now it can't sell, there's no quantity available. And now I'm going to share the listing. I'm literally going to click email and I'm going to email myself my own listing just because I find that that's the fastest way to get all of these items in one place so that I'm not having to like write down the write down the listing and search my eBay store and do all of that. I'm just going to email myself and share my uh, eBay links. That way I know exactly where to find it. So now that one is done. So the next item I'm pulling down is this Infantino 4-in-1 convertible carrier. I've got my eBay listing here. Again, this is a $29 item that I have listed and it hasn't sold in I don't know how long. So coincidentally, I actually have two of these in a quantity on eBay. So I'm going to change the quantity to one. That way I still have one listed on eBay that can sell. And I'm going to put the other one on my Facebook page. And if the one sells on my Facebook page, then I would be... Uh, looking to put the second one on my Facebook page in the next couple of weeks. But again, I'm going to share my share my listing with myself. Sent. So this next item is a four pack of black lights. You probably can't really see them in there because they're all styrofoamed up. That up here. So here is my eBay listing for it. It's a four pack of black lights. That's what they look like inside the box. I have them listed for $43. So again, I'm going to revise my listing, change the quantity to zero. Oh yes, I remember now, I said that I was going to tell you what I think I could get for stuff. Maybe I should actually do what I say I'm gonna do. I'm telling you, this week has just been an absolute whirlwind. Apparently I can't remember anything. So I have those black lights currently listed for $43 and I think I'll be able to sell those, uh, the four pack of black lights on my Facebook page for about, I think I could probably get 22 or $25 for them. This was posted on my eBay page for $29 plus shipping. I'm pretty sure that I can get $17 for it is what I'm gonna do. And this I had posted in my eBay store for $29 and I'm pretty sure that I can get 13 for it on my Facebook page. This is actually a brand new uh, dinnerware set. <laughs> it's a brand new dinnerware set. It has been listed for about a year and a half now. So this pattern is called Meadow. That's what the pattern looks like. It is a eight piece set and I have it posted for $35. Of course, that was comparable to whatever the going rate was for it at the time. I think that I will be able to get, I think I'll be able to get 15 for it on the Facebook page. So I'm gonna pull it off, change the quantity to zero and I'm gonna email myself my own link so that I can build a Facebook post and get it sold. So I'm starting to notice that everything over here is not necessarily a part of my eBay store. So I'm seeing a couple of things and I'm like, wait a minute, that's not in my eBay store. So I don't think that I've pulled everything off of eBay. So I am going to be looking for some Amazon links. For instance, these, I think I had these set aside to put on eBay at one point and I just never got around to listing them. So I think I'm going to put them on the Facebook page instead. And again, I'm just taking a photo using my phone, the search function, and I'm just searching by photo. And then, you know, the Amazon listings just come up. I'm going to pick the one that matches nail regrowth, miracle serum, growth treatment. Yep. That's it. Perfect. 
So they're $8.49 a piece on Amazon. I have four of them. So I'm just going to email myself the link so that I can build the post. So now how much money do I think I can get for those? So they're $8 on Amazon. I try to shoot for 50% off of Amazon's price just to create an incentive to get people to buy from me. So I think I could probably sell these for $5 a piece and I have four of them. Mother. Yes? Hi. Hi. Hello. So, I don't think you want that on YouTube. Yeah, I guess not. <laughs> could be a blooper. Could be a blooper. A little blooper. You know. Good luck. I don't need luck. Good luck. So this is something else I never got put on eBay. I did sell a similar book set. This is the uh, the Magic Treehouse book set. I did have the, I think it was 32 books. I did sell the 32 book set and I sold out really super fast. And so I had this 28 book set, but I never got around to putting it on eBay. So I have three sets. And so I am just going to see if I can find it on Amazon. Let's take a photo. Got it right there. It's $41 on Amazon. So I'm just going to email myself the link. So these are $40 on Amazon, $41.50 to be exact. Whenever I have multiples of something, I always like to price it cheap enough so that I could sell them all in one fell swoop because the last thing I wanna have happen is I sell two and then I've got one left. I can't really price drop that third one without pissing the other two people off, you know what I mean? If I paid $30 for a book set and I was one of two people that bought one and then the third one never sold and so then a couple of weeks later, the person who's selling it sells the third one for $15, I'd be really pissed if that were me. So, all of this is to say, anytime I have two, three, four or more of something, I try to price them to sell. So I think I'm going to post these at 15 or $17. I'm not exactly sure which, but I am sure that they will all sell out um, at least $15 a piece, so $45 for all three. So this is some sort of a freestanding compact something or other. I have a feeling that it is in my eBay store, but I don't know what it is in order to even look it up, so I'm gonna have to scan the barcode on Amazon. Let me search my eBay store for the word freestanding and see if anything comes up. Yep, it is it. So there's a photo of the box. I always do photos of the boxes in my eBay listings just to make them easier to find. And so that is what this is. So I'm going to revise it. This is my eBay listing. I'm going to revise it, do a quantity of zero, and I'm going to email, whoop, email my link to myself so that I can sell it on Facebook instead. Now, I only had it posted for about $15 on eBay. Um, I think I'd try for 12 to 15 on my Facebook page as well. I think the thing that might have been keeping that from selling on my Facebook page is the weight, because that box, I don't know if you saw me kind of like struggling to put it up there, that box is pretty heavy. The shipping is probably outrageous and that might be scaring people off, you know what I mean? So maybe if I can sell it for 12 or 15 on my Facebook page and I can avoid shipping it and just do local, maybe that would help it sell a little bit better. And it's a tool and tools always do really well on my Facebook page. It is a top line four piece groove joint plier set. So that that's what they look like. It's a four piece tool set. Uh, pliers, pliers. Uh, so again, I'm going to go in here and revise. Again, I'm changing the quantity to zero rather than ending the listing because if it happens to not sell on my Facebook page, that means I have the option to just go put it right back on eBay without having to create an entirely new listing. Air assist pumps always do really, really well on my Facebook page. Anytime I have any sort of an air pump, see this is that, any sort of an air pump, it always does really well. I'm pretty sure that this is in my eBay. Yes, it is this one. So that's what the pump looks like. I have it in my eBay store for $50. I am thinking that I will be able to sell it for 25 on my Facebook page. So I am going to put the quantity at zero, revise, and then I'm going to email myself the link. 
so that I can get it sold and get it out of my stinking basement. Okay, so that is nine items. I need about another six. So these were not put on eBay, but it is an entire box full of these. These are a two pack of tagless boxer briefs by Hanes. So I'm not gonna look in my eBay store because it's not in my eBay store. I'm gonna look on Amazon and they are all size medium. So the Amazon listing, I have one, two, three. There, are they all medium? No, they're not all medium. I should probably pay attention to that. Three black and gray in size medium and three black and gray large. So that's a total of six briefs. So that means that I can do one large post and one medium post. I'm gonna send this Amazon listing to myself and I'm just going to make note. I've got one set large and one set medium. So what I'll end up doing is I'll make one Facebook post and I'm going to say that I have one set size large, one set size medium, and then in the comment section, people will have to say like sold large or sold medium. So if someone says sold medium, then I'll say, you know, this, that the large is still available. Um, I think that's gonna be the best way to handle that. So here's, Put the medium there because they are the exact same style the wicking cool comfort fabric they're just two different sizes Ooh, chest waders so i have these on oh by the way oh my gosh i i really am bad at this today holy cow so the underwear were twenty dollars for a set of six I am pretty sure that i can get 10 bucks a set so i'm gonna do ten dollars for each set uh, these are the waders. Whoop. These are the waders that I have in my eBay store. That's what these are right here. I have them listed for $32 and they have not sold in like two years. So I'm going to pull them off of eBay and put them on my Facebook page. Um, I am pretty sure that I will be able to sell these for 20 bucks on my Facebook page. Because waiters, depending on the brand, they can be super duper expensive. The last pair of waiters I sold was a really, really nice one. And it sold for 40, uh, for $45 on the Facebook page because it was like a $90 or an $80 pair of waiters. And that waiter, it is a size 11. Size 11 waiter set. So I know that I can get at least $20 for it. I might try for more like 25 since it's a really good shoe size. So this is an entry mat. So anytime I have rugs or anything like that, I, they always do really, really well on my Facebook page. Uh, that's why anytime I'm ever at a bin store, I will snatch up a rug. You probably saw me grab a rug or two in, in the previous you know bin store hauls that I've done. Um, it's because they always sell. They might not sell for a ton of money, but they sell. These, for instance, are very, very expensive. Holy cow. Uh, is, that the, is that the same one? Doing a search of the barcodes is just not working for me. So I'm gonna do an image search. 30 by 17, here we go. 30 by 17, dark brown, dark brown. All right, got it. Got it, there we go. It's about dang time, okay. So these surprisingly are on a lightning deal, 50% off right now for $13. So I'm not gonna go off that price. The regular list price is 25. I know I could get $12 for this set. So that is what I'm going to go for. I'm going to ignore the lightning deal because that lightning deal is gonna be over here shortly. Woo, woo, no, 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 no. Ah, everything's falling. It's what I get for putting everything up high. So little stuff like this, I do like to do filler on my Facebook page and little stuff like this is great filler. It is a smart door uh, door and window sensor. So I found it on Amazon, it's right here. And it is 1829, see how small it is? 1829, I think I can sell it for $8 on my page. So I'm going to email the link to myself 
And again, I always seem to forget to say, if you want to go see how I'm doing all of these posts on my Facebook page, I always link my Facebook page down in the video description so that you can go to my Facebook page and you can actually see how I am selling this stuff using Facebook because I don't use Facebook Marketplace, I use my business Facebook page. So you can go check that out. I did also open up my Facebook page to shipping. So if you happen to see anything you're interested in, just follow the instructions and I can now ship to you. All right, I'm gonna do one more, one more item. Ooh, a tattoo kit. So the last time I posted a tattoo kit, people went crazy for it. So let me find, I'm pretty sure that I have this on eBay. This tattoo kit I have posted in my eBay store. I currently have it listed for $40, still hasn't sold. So I'm gonna pull it down, zero quantity, just like I've been doing all the other ones, and that's it. So now all I have left to do is I just need to just sit down with my laptop, pull up the links from my email, and get the posts ready to go on Facebook so I can sell the stuff because everything that's here, I'm not even, oh, the tattoo, Wow, I need to get better about doing this. Holy cow, I can't even remember what the heck I'm supposed to be doing here. The tattoo kit, I'm sure that I could sell for a minimum of $25. Let's remember to say what I keep saying I'm gonna say and then I keep forgetting to say the thing. So I wasn't really keeping track of what the total revenue for everything is going to end up being, but whatever it is, it sure is better than the zero dollars that it has been paying me sitting on these shelves for months or even years at this point. It's extremely frustrating. I'm gonna get them on Facebook, get the stuff sold, get the money in my pocket so I can keep sourcing. It's also going to free up space on my shelves so that I can better organize this disaster area that I called an inventory system. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me throughout this video. I know it might have been a little bit all over the place. It's because my week has just been really wonky but you know what? This is my real life. <laughs> you guys have been telling me you want the real content. You want to know what it's really like with no fluff. This is what it's like with no fluff. I start a video, couple days goes by, finish the video, forget what the heck I'm doing. I don't even know at this point. Hopefully it was a cohesive enough video that you didn't get bored to tears until the end. So thank you again so much for watching. I really do appreciate you and all of your support. Remember to hit that thumbs up before you leave. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and ring the notification bell. That way you're notified whenever I post my next video. Don't forget to check the video description. I always put a lot of useful information in there as well as the link to both my Facebook page for Bullseye Bids where you can see how exactly I sell stuff on Facebook, but also my nut and candy store, kindanutty.com. I do have that down there as well if you wanna go take a look at that. Questions or comments, please leave down in the comments below. Thank you guys again so much and I will see you next time. Bye.